Welcome everyone, this is Zan Ta with Repo Products. Today's video is on some of the new features in AutoCAD 2020. We're going to go ahead and start. Um, what you see on my screen are two AutoCADs up and running. On my left side is AutoCAD 2019. On my right hand side is AutoCAD 2020. I'm showing both of them because I want to show the first difference is the dark theme. On the left hand side for 2019, this is what's considered their dark theme. And you can see that the coloring of the ribbon and everything is not really a black color. Uh, it's more of a dark uh, slate grayish color, if you will. If you look over here on the right hand side for AutoCAD 2020, their dark theme is darker and it's more of a blue metal type of dark color. So the contrast is a lot bolder. And if uh, you can see it, especially when you look at the commands. So if I look at the line command over here on 2020 versus the line command over here, uh, because of the contrast, it makes the icons a lot sharper and easier to read. So the first uh, difference, if you will, the, the new feature within 2020 is the dark theme. You can head over to the command line and right click and go to options. And when you do so, you head over into the display tab of the ribbon and you'll see it says color theme is dark. This is where you access it. If I switch it to light and I hit apply, it's going to change and it's going to look like this. If I switch it back to dark, it's going to look like this. If we go back to AutoCAD 2019 on my left hand side and go to its options and go over to display and switch it to light and hit apply, this is how it looks. And then if I switch it back to dark, this is how it looks. So you can see there is a good bit of contrast between the light and dark themes in 2019 versus 2020. Um, if you really, really kind of want to push the coloring, if you will, click here under colors and you can start to get into the different aspects of the different interface elements and change their colors individually. So that was the first functionality um, and new feature in AutoCAD 2020. I'm going to go ahead and close AutoCAD 2019 because I don't really need it anymore. <clears throat> and the next thing I want to look at is the blocks palette. If you head over to the view tab of the ribbon, they have under palettes the blocks command. And if you click it, then that palette will show up. I have mine docked on the left hand side. I'm going to pull it out and have it floating. It works just like any other palette. You can resize it, you can reposition it, you can dock it, <clears throat> and you can hide it if you need to as well. In here you have a filtering functionality so you can start typing in something that you know the name of the block is. For example, if I type in seat, it'll start to drill and try to find anything with the word seat in it for that particular file. Um, or if I do uh, star, then it's going to try to find that data as well. If it doesn't, then um, heading and changing your filter back to the asterisk symbol will get you back to the list of um, blocks that are contained in the drawing. Now there are three tabs here. You have the current drawing tab, you have the recents tab, and you have other drawings. So in the current drawing, um, there aren't really any blocks um, that many to work with. I can click this button right here to get into a dialog box to pick something else, say for example this drawing, and it will find and filter in there the different blocks for that drawing which I can drag and drop and use in this particular file. I'm also going to pin this uh, blocks panel open so it doesn't compress on me. <clears throat> you have um, the recent um, tab that lists all the recent blocks that you last used, so again you can click and drag and just place it. And then you have other drawings as well. You have different insertion options as well down here that you can play with. You can also just go to the insert tab of the ribbon, go into the blocks panel, click insert, and you can see your icons for your recent blocks. And you can click recent blocks here and it will list over here as well. You can also click blocks from other drawings and it will automatically open up the panel <clears throat> to the other drawing tab of the blocks panel and you have access to that capability. The third <clears throat> enhancement 
for 2020 is the uh, purge redesign command. If I go to the manage tab of the ribbon, I have a panel called cleanup and I can click find non purgeable items and it will list all the objects that are contained inside that I cannot purge just so you can do a review or a check. <clears throat> you can click the purge command and now the interface has been changed and it doesn't look like the old window purge dialog box. You can go ahead and click whatever you want and can drill down and you can see all the different objects that you can purge. And just like before, you can purge the checked items, purge everything, confirm if you want to purge each item, and click close when you're done. So they have updated our uh, purge command interface. The next uh, command that they have updated and enhanced is the drawing compare redesign command. And the way that works is as follows. What you want to do is you want to have the drawing that you're working with open and you want to use the drawing compare command to compare this current drawing with another file. So we head over to the collaborate tab and we click draw compare. And then we pick the other file that we want to compare it against and click open. And it will create a drawing compare file for us and it will show us immediately what the differences are. If you click this little cog wheel right here for settings, you can see the differences where the yellow is not in the current drawing, the magenta is only in the current drawing, the gray means nothing changed, there's no difference, and then the drawing order, okay, so what came first, what came second. And then the cloud display also right now shows rectangular and the different size, and as you move the bar to the right to increase the number, the size of the arcs. Um, changes and the size of the box changes. You can switch this as well to polygonal and then move your mouse on the slider and you'll see the difference as well. And then also you can pin the settings down if you need to. As you use these arrows you can actually scroll through each of the differences and it basically zooms to those differences just kind of like um, how you have view states in AutoCAD. Obviously you can pan and zoom still <clears throat> and then you have a button for importing other objects if you need to. You have a button for exporting the snapshot out as an image. And then you hit the green check mark to exit the compare functionality. And then you're left back to the um, draw and compare file that it created. I'm going to close the file because I don't need to work with it anymore. And then the uh, next um, update that they have is called dynamic measure function. If we head over to the home tab of the ribbon, the measure command is here. And if we expand it, it doesn't look any different. What's different is when you initiate the command, as you move your mouse around and you put your mouse over an area like this, it automatically dynamically gives you the measurement information such as <clears throat> the vertical height or the horizontal width of this entity, uh, of this section here. And so it's just kind of a good way to visually give you some data. Um, and so depending on where you place your mouse and how you place it, you'll get the different feedback information right away. If you left click, it doesn't do anything. If you right click, you get different capabilities for distance and radius and so on. Um, it isn't something where if I wanted to say, if I left click this, will it give me the measurements and just place it as dimensions? It doesn't do something like that. And that was kind of the first thing I was hoping that the dynamic measure command would do. I could very quickly just click this and it automatically place all those dimensions. Um, maybe it's something in the future Autodesk might consider doing. And then the last couple of updates for 2020 is um, the installation of AutoCAD 2020 is ridiculously faster now if you have a solid state drive. Um, I have a Samsung 970 Pro uh, hard drive, two of them on my laptop. And when I went to do the install for AutoCAD 2020, it started and finished within maybe six minutes, seven minutes tops. I mean, it was insanely fast. Uh, and I didn't really notice it until um, two few minutes later after I moved my eyes to look at the installation from looking at uh, something else on the screen and it was finished. So the installation for AutoCAD 2020 on a solid state drive 
has been much improved. And then the last thing that they have that they have enhanced in 2020 is the ability to save to cl other cloud services. So when I say file in the big application menu and say save as a drawing, um, depending on what type of cloud services that you already have installed on your machine, you may be able to jump to them right, right away automatically. For example, I can go to my Microsoft OneDrive. If I have um, Dropbox or uh, Box cloud services and I have their third-party applications installed, then I would see Dropbox and I would see Box and anything else like Google Drive, uh, Microsoft OneDrive. So depending on um, what additional cloud services you already have installed on your machine, AutoCAD will see them and recognize them and allow you to save directly to them. Um, and that's it. Those are all the major new 2020 uh, features that they've introduced and enhanced in the AutoCAD 2020 update. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for visiting Reaper products and watching our video. And don't forget, we are specialized in sales, training, and consultation for Autodesk software. We have multiple certified instructors and offer a ton of value. We also have a 3D laser scanning services division, and we can take care of multiple services, for example, field laser and point cloud processing, as well as others. We have printing services. We have wide format equipment sales and service and supplies. We have Xerox office and production equipment sales and services. And we also have drone aerial imaging as well. So if you'd like to find out more information about Repo products and all the different services that are available, please visit our website or send us an email via marketing at reproproducts.com. Thank you very much for watching.